Hello everyone. So welcome to this new session. So in the previous sessions, we have discussed about uh, the problems related to the control system, right? Many, many problems. And in the last session, we have discussed about the transfer function problems. So in this session here, we have some of the additional problems. I am not going to solve it to you all. So I am uh, uh, going to display it in a written manner for you. So there are a few of the mechanical systems here and uh, the problems uh, uh, of this mechanical systems using force voltage analogy and force current analogy I'm going to display it to you all. I'm just going to show it to you all. The steps are similar. Only the uh, physical systems here you can see that. Physical systems here are different but the steps are similar. Okay. So now let's see this, uh, these kind of problems. So the first problem given is that the, this is the physical system here given for this first problem. And here in this problem, we can see that so in this problem, we can see that there are uh, uh, three displacements here, x, x2, x3 and x1. So if there are, if there are three displacements here, you can say that the first what you need to do is we need to construct three nodes right x1 of t x2 of t and x3 of t okay so these three nodes x1 of t x2 of 3 x3 of 3 x3 of t after that what we need to do is uh, this what and all are the components uh, which are under x1 of t we need to write all of them in parallel so here you can see that at x1 what and all are common uh, the force is common here first write the force f of t and after that for this displacement x1 even this uh, mass is moving so again uh, name it as m1 and this spring k1 and b1 okay after that and this b2 that is the friction is between x1 and x2 so name this b2 between x1 and x2 and also we have this b3 friction that is this friction here b3 this is between x1 and x3 you can see here see where is x1 this is here it is x1 and here it is x3 in the, between these two uh, displacements we have this friction so we need to mark this friction b3 between x1 and x3 as well and between x2 and x3 we have one more spring here see here x2 and x3 we have this spring called k3 that also is between these two nodes we need to write it and for this x2 we have m2 and k2 and for this x3 we have m3 okay so similarly what we need to do now we need to write the equilibrium equations at node 1 node 2 and node 3 at node 1 we have how many components here one that is one is force m1 k1 b1 and b2 and uh, respectively you need to write the equilibrium equation here so yeah this is the equilibrium equation at node 1 so this is at node 2 and this is at node 3 okay so these equations you can note it down after that what you need to write fv analogy for equation one that is what your uh, force is replaced by voltage correct and uh, ma m1 is replaced by l1 d square and uh, the displacement x1 is replaced by q1 and here the same thing here the b1 is replaced by r1 and d uh, dq1 by dt and r2 again the uh, k is replaced by uh, sorry uh, b2 is replaced by r2 dq1 by dt minus dq2 by dt and r3 plus r3 again the dq1 by dt minus dq3 by d3 and uh, k is replaced by 1 by c so k1 would be replaced by 1 by c1 so in the similar way after that you need to take the laplace transform that is c here taking laplace transform v of s is equal to that is l1 and uh, d by dt is replaced by s into i1 of s okay see here if, uh, if we split and write this as d by dt into dq by dt right d by dt into dq by dt if we have we had split this and right so this dq by dt corresponds to i right so that's why we have got this i1 of s here r2 into again dq1 by dt that is again corresponding to i 
this is again corresponding to i right so that is again r1 into i1 of s r2 into i1 of s minus i2 of s similarly okay this is for equation 1 here and from equation 2 this is the equation we, we are getting here by replacing the uh, m b and k and after that again for this equation take the laplace transform and this is the equation which we arrive okay write it down and after that for equation 3 the same thing so this is the equation after taking laplace transform using equation 4 5 and 6 we know that for fv analogy it is again we need to apply the concept of loop currents and uh, in loop 1 which and all are the components uh, surrendered so, uh, which and all are the components surrounded uh, the components surrounded are l1 c1 r1 r2 and r3 but this r2 component is between which and all which and all two two loops i1 and i2 and this r3 component is between i1 and i3 okay and this l c r are all for this loop i1 the uh, are corresponding to this current i1 and all three should be in series i told you right all the components must be connected in series right in case of fv analogy and these and all are the components for uh, loop i2 l2 and c2 and for i3 we have l3 so this is the equivalent electrical network for fv analogy similarly solve it for fi analogy as well okay from equation one uh, the force would be replaced by current i of t so the m1 would be replaced by c1 and uh, b1 would be replaced by 1 by r1 b2 would be replaced by 1 by r2 b3 would be replaced by 1 by r3 and uh, k1 would be replaced by 1 by l1 again uh, solve this take the laplace transform wherever differentiation is there uh, replace it by s wherever integration is there replace it by 1 by s and uh, get this equation which i have highlighted here so please try to solve it on your own this is the notes provided don't just copy so since we have solved many problems those who are uh, regularly following my channel they would be knowing till now so please uh, try to solve it without seeing so this is just the notes, notes provided to you all okay and uh, from equation 2 this is the equation here by uh, uh, replacing the values for uh, m b and k and after that taking the laplace transform this is the equation which we get okay and similarly for equation 3 this is the equation for laplace transform okay so from equation 7 8 and 9 uh, we are going to build the circuit for a phi analogy as well here okay so since uh, we have uh, three voltage sources we need to name it as v1 of t v2 of t and v3 of 3 v2 of 3 three nodes and here we can see that this r2 resistor is between v1 of t and v2 of t and this l3 is between v2 of t and v3 of t and this r3 is between v1 of t and v3 of t but they should be connected in parallel right and for this node first is the current is common here that is i of t and c1 l1 and r1 okay and for this v2 of t we have c2 l2 and v3 of t we have c3 so this is your required electrical circuit okay please note it down for a phi analogy so this is one kind of problem so this is a one more system here physical system the other question where we have four displacements okay x1 one is here one is here x2 one is here x3 and one is here x4 okay so for this uh, we have uh, the components k1 k2 k3 m1 m2 b1 b2 and b3 okay so yeah so this is the circuit here so first uh, write the mechanical system here since we have a uh, four displacements we saw we would be first writing four nodes x1 of t x2 of t x3 of t and x4 of t okay after that write the necessary components between those nodes uh, by seeing the physical system and again after that write the equilibrium equations for node 1 node 2 node 3 as well as node 4 and after that uh, write uh, try to solve for force voltage analogy that is we need to replace force by voltage and other m b k replacements that is l1 r1 and 1 by c1 for all the equations uh, take the Laplace transform. This is the Laplace transform for first equation, for uh, second equation. So this is again for third, for a fee analogy. So and this is for fourth. Okay. 
Similarly, uh, since we have four equations, so we will be writing four loops and these and all are the components you need to be writing like this by seeing the circuit, by seeing the equations, by comparing the equations and all, which and all are the components between those two loops that things you need to be very careful. So please observe the equations and try to write these components as well. So this is the circuit for FE analogy. Okay. So similarly for FI analogy for equation one, two, three, four, they have written it neatly here. Please uh, try to solve it on your own. And whenever you get stuck, uh, refer these notes for equation four. And again, uh, they have written all the Laplace transform for by using these four equations, 9, 10, 11, 12, they have built the electrical circuit for FI analogy as well. See here, four nodes, V1 of T, V2 of T, V3 of T, V4 of T. Okay. So they have written the necessary components as well. Yeah. So that's all. Hope you like this session. So these are few of the additional problems. With this, we are completing this module. Okay. We have solved, I guess, uh, five to six problems, very important problems. And uh, there are still more many problems, but the problems are similar. Okay. Like uh, you would be getting a practice of that if you solve more and more problems. If you want to solve more and more problems, please refer the textbook. Uh, get it from the library and uh, there are many problems in the textbooks. Okay. So refer these videos for a better understanding. Like, share, subscribe. And please refer our playlists for if you want the videos related to other subjects, refer our playlists. We are uh, dealing with other subjects as well for this fourth sem. So that's all. Thank you.